There are numerous ways advisors can bring value to their client relationships. Today, we are going to talk about active rebalancing. When markets are rising steadily, it can be easy to underestimate the importance of regular rebalancing. But in roller coaster periods, like what we have experienced recently, active rebalancing of a portfolio can help create a smoother ride for investors. Rebalancing helps ensure true diversification is still in place. Looking back to 2020, we saw a few key technology names dominate returns over the year. Without regular rebalancing, a client's portfolio could have become overly heavy in U.S. large cap tech stocks, potentially creating an overweight of risk if that single sector dropped. Let me give you another example. If an investor had purchased a hypothetical balanced portfolio of let's say 60% equities and 40% fixed income in January 2009, and it had not been actively rebalanced since then, by the end of 2021, the risk profile of the portfolio would have looked very different. The original balanced portfolio would have become a growth portfolio with approximately 84% invested in equities and only 17% in fixed income. That would expose the investor to risk they didn't agree to and could become a concern if equity markets suddenly reversed and fell sharply. But the question is, would your clients rebalance their portfolios if left to their own devices? Because what is rebalancing? It's buying more of what just hurt a portfolio and selling what's done really well. Who has a client that embraces this sort of investment philosophy and discipline with open arms? It's an uncomfortable decision for many, but one that needs to be made to stay on course. The bottom line, a rebalanced portfolio stays within the investor's risk profile. It also has a better chance of keeping an investor invested and a better chance of ultimately achieving their long-term goals. To learn more and to download our Value of an Advisor study, visit RussellInvestments.com.